it's surprising to see a city in a place like this. During its prime, over a hundred thousand people called it home. Obviously, now there are fewer. The place you see below is my safe house. The auxiliary engine's output is weak, so things can get bumpy. Hold on tight. underneath the wasteland. It's amazing. Even in the darkest times, it's always safe to bet on human survival instinct. So, where do we go? No time for breaks. Typical Eve. Oracle is in the presence chamber. Follow me. Looks like they built the city deep and high. Are all those walls around the city supposed to protect it from their Tiba attacks? The walls don't seem to be as reinforced as well as they should be. Most likely, there will be a protocol to rescue everyone. It'll be a big project. But the only way it'll be possible to contact the colony will be to finish the mission. I hope that day comes soon. Adam, why are the streets so empty? Is everyone hiding because of us? We have a situation here. A situation? You'll see when you get to the presence chamber. Come on, we're almost there. Looks like you brought guests. Very important guests. Can you open the door? Go. Oracle is waiting for you. See you soon, Rael. Good luck. This 
place. This is where the memories are kept, right? You've got a keen eye. That's right. The presence chamber is where memories are stored. The memories of those who couldn't make it back to Mother Sphere. Over here. Oh. I see we have guests. Welcome. Let me start the introductions. This is Zion's prophet, Oracle. I'm Airborne Squad member Eve. My name's Lily. Pleased to meet you. Adam has told me all about you. You defeated an Alpha Netiba. Could you show me anything it might have dropped? Here. Oh, it's an Alpha Core. Please, a moment. Your objective is to rid the world of the Elder Natiba, the leader of all other Natibas. Well then, I suppose you're trying to use the Alpha Core as a key to open the way forward to the Nest. Is that right? How did you know that? Unfortunately, the Nest cannot be opened with the Alpha Core alone. What? No way! But is... is there really no other way to reach the nest? By fusing four Alpha Cores together, you create something called a Master Core. Only with the Master Core will you be able to reach the very deepest corner of the nest. How... how do you know all this? Thanks to my personal link to the facility on the surface, I can search anywhere and everywhere on Earth. All I require is the right amount of energy. That would also mean you'd be able to track down the Alpha Natiba. That's enough for introductions. Adam, please insert the hypercell. Eve, here. This way. Oh, it's so dark. I really don't like the dark. This is the hyperdrive, the source of all of Zion's energy. Eve, the hypercell you brought will bring light to Zion. Here, try putting the hypercell in here. People here are in a deep sleep due to energy depletion. Carrying on this way, it can only bring darkness. Eve, please help us.
thanks to the hypercell Eve acquired. They're safe. For the time being. I'm glad I was able to do something of significance. Do we need more hypercells? If the citizens ever want to wake up? Yes. We need three more hypercells if we ever want to fully rebuild Zion. Let's go back to Oracle and you can hear the rest of the story. Ma, outsiders, thank you for your hard work. Thanks to you, the lives of tens of thousands of people have been extended. And my Presto link is also stabilizing. That's great news! Does that mean we can figure out the location of the Alpha Natiba now? All the Elder's energy is still being directed at maintaining the Cradle. Who... who are you? Oh, this here is Man, a Sentinel Commander. He also serves as Oracle's bodyguard. My skills are still limited, shall we say, so I am not yet able to reach new areas. However, with the power of more hypercells, I'm certain I can track the location of the Alpha Nativa. That's why I'll have to ask you for a little more help. Can we count on you to retrieve another hypercell from there? Eve, I'm sure it'll be of help. Yes. We have no other choice. Adam, Lily, I'll be counting on you. It won't be easy. Make sure to be well prepared. better now that we're outside. <laughs> Things can get pretty intense in the presence chamber. Yeah, that scary looking guy wouldn't stop staring at me. I know he doesn't look it, but he's friendlier than you'd think. I have to finish the maintenance on the tetrapod before we leave. Abe, can I ask you for a favor? I ordered a propulsion control board from a parts store called Sister's Junk. Can you go pick up the order and meet me back at the safe house? Feel free to look around the city while you do. Okay. I'm going to borrow Adam's workshop for a bit. I want to tinker with the drone. All right. Let's all finish what we have to do and meet back at the tetrapod. Halt. This is a restricted area. I haven't seen you around Zion before. Identify yourself. Wait. I'm an airborne squad member from the colony. Huh. So you're an angel. What brings you here? Looking for a tour? I was curious about the song coming from inside. I heard the Prophet gave you permission to enter the city, but that doesn't mean you can go around as you please. Of course, those who've lived in the comfort of the colony don't know anything. I don't mean any harm. I apologize if I've caused you trouble. And you, you okay? Huh. There was a time when this bar used to be full of people. Now it's just so empty, empty and dark. And Enya, same story. I wonder how long she can keep singing with her body in the state it's in. Huh. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. It's pointless. 
I'm trying to be sensitive, but if you need help, we might be able to fix her. After all, we do have engineering support from the Airborne Squad. What? Is that so? But I... I have no way to repay you. No, I don't need anything. I don't need any kind of incentive to save someone. All right. In that case, could you help me? Hey. What? Yeah, I guess you're not gonna help. No, ignore me. Sue, I have a question about Enya's condition. What? Shouldn't Zion's engineers be able to do something to help her? They can't. I heard they're lacking in just about everything they need. Technology, funds, basic resources. Attempting anything is only gonna make things harder for them. Okay, I'll relay this to our engineer right away. Are you the owner of the shop? Th that's right. At least for now. Adam sent me to pick up the new propulsion control board he ordered. I'm here. Is it ready? Hmm. Uh-huh. It's ready. I even have a spare one, too. <laughs> Good to know. Let's see. How much is that going to cost? You can just take this. I, uh, heard you come to help us. O of course, I'll do what I can to help you as well. Really? Then I'll accept it. Thank you. In return, is there something else I can maybe help you with? Huh? Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's just that... You looked like you had something weighing on your mind. Did I? Now? Oh, I guess I can't hide anything from you, Angel. Do you want to give me the full story? All right. One day, I was out working in the scrap plains of the Wasteland. When I ran into some Nativas, I had to ditch my bike and my trunk during the escape. The bike got caught between hunks of metal. I had to leave it behind, or I wouldn't have made it out alive. A bike? Can you give me the exact location? I do have to go out to the wasteland. I'll go ahead and find out. Oh! oh thank you very much! in front of you. This is more than just an upgrade. It's an evolution! <laughs> now try hitting the target. Amazing, Lily. Colony Tech at your service. What do you think? <laughs> Damn kid. Tinkering with my drone? It'll be very useful for the mission. Thanks, Lily. Great. Let me know if you ever run out of ammunition.
I want to go to the wasteland too. Or do you think I'd just get in the way? Lily, I have to ask you something. I found someone who's been injured very badly. She's too weak to speak, and there's no chance of her moving. The technology here won't do. Do you think you might be able to help somehow? Well, yes. But do you really think this is a good time? The people here, they have negative feelings towards the colony. Many of them think they were abandoned. I want them to see that our mission isn't just for the sake of appearances. Our mission is to save mankind. Ah, yep. Typical Eve. <laughs> I can give it a try, but I can't guarantee a complete recovery. Also, there's a lot I'll need to prepare. I understand. Just tell me what you need. I'll send over the list. And please try not to spend too much time on this. After all, we still have a mission to complete. I know. Thank you. I brought back what you asked for. Here. Great work, Eve. How was your walk around the city? It looked a little sad. So much empty space. Anyway, let's go to the wasteland, Adam. Well, there are still some issues with the Tetrapod steering system. So I'm afraid we're not able to leave just yet. Then when will you be ready? Unfortunately, it's going to take longer than a day. Then I'll go ahead on foot. You can use the drone to guide me. What? The wasteland is a lot bigger than you think. I can't just sit here and wait. In fact, I want to see the wasteland with my own eyes. <laughs> You're one of a kind, Eve. All right, I'll guide you with the drone. Be careful. Yes, thank you. The wasteland is that way. Eve, Eve, there's something I didn't tell you. It's about time the drone got an upgrade. Come over here. You must be the angel. Sorry, but can you spare a moment? What's going on? I normally wouldn't get a stranger involved in Sentinel's business, but I'm worried about my comrades and I can't afford to send a search party. What happened? As you know, Natibas are unpredictable creatures. Finding a new variant is not even a big deal, as long as we can handle it. This particular new variant recently appeared in the Wasteland, so we've been keeping an eye on it. But one of my scout teams has not returned to Zion yet. A new variant, you say? Yes, a formidable monster. Its entire neck and shoulders had evolved into a weapon. I'll send you the coordinates. There's an abandoned oil storage facility in a remote corner of the Wasteland. The scout team was guarding the area. So, you want me to find those sentinels? Yes. Thank you.
How dull. Hey. Oh, it's you. What do you mean, dull? Oh, I guess you heard that. I'm sorry if I offended you, Angel. I wasn't asking for an apology. I just wanted to know why you said that. What is this place? This is my shop, Gwen Hair Salon. I'm Kasim, the hairstylist. Hair. I style your hair so you feel better and confident. Your hair looks great. It's full of potential. But that potential is hidden at the moment. That's why I said it is dull. Is that so? Are you saying you can make my hair less dull? Of course. But I don't have the proper tools with me right now. Those so-called scavengers stole them. I can't run a business without my tools. But then they probably just threw them away. Those tools would be useless to them. Thrown away? Where? Things like that usually end up in the landfill in the wasteland. Okay. I can look for them. In return, you will style my hair. Sounds good to me. I'm missing three items. Scissors, hair dryer, and hair straightener. Understood. I'll be waiting here, Angel. around every corner. Watch your step. If you trip, you might find yourself caught in the arms of death. All right. I've entered the scant coordinates of Altus Lavoir. Let's go. a good amount of the camp's energy is being supplied by nearby areas. I think there's an issue with the supply network. What can we do about it? <sighs> this is gonna be tricky. Outside of Zion, there's a solar tower that supports energy links to nearby facilities. It seems like there might be a problem with the tower. We're going to have to go and check. Solar tower. It looks like this is it. I see a drone over there. Maybe it can tell us what the problem is. Hello. I'm Service 001. 
standard service drone. Requesting administrator assistance. An error occurred in Solar Tower Orca A091078CQ. Reboot sequence status failed. Cover device malfunction. Requesting administrator assistance. The error cannot be resolved with the current service drone functionality. Stopping power supply to nearby facilities. Update. Supply camp status inactive. Administrator confirmation required. Hang on, I, I can't figure out what you're trying to say. Are you saying that the solar tower cover is damaged? I am sorry. Service drone. Language capabilities limited. Cover device requires confirmation from administrator. Resolve error as soon as possible. Error. Reboot fail. There must be some kind of issue with the facility. Wait a minute. That... looks like the service drone is stuck in the debris. Thank you, Administrator. Thank you. System maintenance may now resume. Good. At least the drone is intact. System is now all clear. Reboot successful.
Solar Tower Reboot Sequence Completed. Power Return to Facility. Status Operational. Many thanks to the Administrator. You are the best Administrator. Administrator of the Month. Do you even know what the Administrator of the Month means? Administrator of the Month is Administrator of the Month. Solar Tower Status Normal. All functions available for use. Resuming maintenance tasks. Great. Now we should be able to use the cap again. Those things, or, well, the drones. Do you know how long they've been protecting this tower? I couldn't say, but I'm sure they'll continue to protect it up until the energy runs out.
I find you a force that my mobile is limited due to an accident. I'm ask for your assistance. What? Who's communicating in the airborne squadron? Give me a sec. I'll check. It doesn't seem to have been intentional. The signal's being broadcast across several places. Anyway, he says. I know what he says. The source of the signal should be at the dump site north of the scrap plants. You're gonna love this. It certainly wouldn't hurt to check it out. That is, if you're feeling inclined toward a little neighborly help. I have limited yeah, mobility it. due to an accident. <laughs> I kindly I'll request your right assistance. Away. surveillance team that lost contact. They're completely mangled. Wait. Then where is the Nativa?
I'm fine. Is this a subspecies of what we encountered in 807? What's it doing here? It looks like it caught the sentinels in an ambush. I hate to deliver bad news, but I'll have to tell him. Oh, you're back. Did you meet them? What happened? I'm afraid they're all dead. No way. I think a powerful Natiba took them by surprise. I dealt with it. Your comrades did not stand a chance against a monster like that. Damn it. I see. My apologies, Angel. I've been hoping for their safe return ever since I lost contact with them. I'll report to the captain. Thank you for retrieving their memories. I'm sorry. It's been an honor to help those brave warriors. Angel, you'll need useful information in order to operate outside of Zion. Did you know that there is an information dealer in the city? I think it'll be worth it for you to meet that person, despite their character. Angel, lovely to meet you. You... You don't seem very likable. <laughs> All right, you're pretty sharp. I've heard it before. Folks often compare me to a snake. I'm Roxanne. Consider me a kind of info dealer. Info dealer? Yes, practical things. Gossip, blackmail, fears, weaknesses. I dabble in a bit of everything. Oh, I do like this, Angel. You really are my favorite customer. It's been fun, Angel. See you later. Bye-bye. All right. Stay safe, Roxanne.